sure it does. Welcome back everyone. We are making some peach, blackberry, and lavender ice cream. So that's gonna be a combination of all three. You don't know how that's gonna taste, but right now we are currently blending up some peaches in the blender. So you're gonna basically puree that. And so far, it's, it's a, a little bit of a challenge. It doesn't wanna actually blend, but we did also smash some blackberries, so it says to do that. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what the ingredients are, and I'll show you the, all the instructions for it. So I'll just kind of voice that over here in a second. But we've got some smashed blackberries right here. So that's gonna be really yummy, and we're gonna blend that up together as well. Go ahead and hit that blender, mummy. And then we got some lavender ice cream right there. So this is the blackberry peach and lavender ice cream. So you're gonna add blackberries to a bowl and some water and you're gonna mash, basically just mash those together. You're also gonna make a puree of the peaches and you're also going to put lavender into some milk that is in a saucepan and you're gonna steep the milk with the lavender in it. And of course, if you need to, take some screenshots of this recipe so that you can also try and make it at home as well. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and head back over to the video to watch the rest of, of how we're going to make the ice cream. Some more. Let's get in there. It's kind of getting to that puree. So, how long have we been trying to puree this peach? Uh, probably almost five minutes now. I mean, and look at it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, I just wanted it, there's a few chunks in there that I want to get uh, pureed more. But this is actually a pretty good consistency considering it's going to be ice cream. You don't want it too runny. Right, yeah. I don't think runny would be a great idea for peaches, but a good consistency it would be great. milk and lavender and sugar and all that so we're just going to have to warm that up to melt the sugar and steep the lavender flour so in that. Oh we finally got, oh we finally got, oh my gosh, it's finally working. Okay, so now we are going to do the lavender milk and sugar mixture. So we're going to put it on low, which I just did. So now we're going to go ahead and... So we basically have to warm this up to make sure that the sugar actually dissolves in the milk. So once the sugar is melted, then we'll know that it's going to be like another five to eight minutes for it to actually steep properly with the lavender in there. Flavor and the scent of that lavender and the milk and then we're gonna strain that into a bowl and then we're gonna also put some heavy cream in there and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together and whip it up. And then it should be all good to go. And so we got our peaches already done. It says to have that offset off to the side. So we'll have to also puree the blackberries as well. So we're just gonna have to do that. So we'll have to make a switch out or just add it all together. But it says just keep it all separate. 
So. And then we're gonna eventually add it to the milk. Yeah, we hope and eventually we'll add it all to the milk. And, so, and then we'll put it into the cold. This will actually go into the cold bowl that we've got chilling in the freezer. Yep. So if you do not have an ice cream maker whatsoever, or like a KitchenAid attachment for ice cream, what we did is we took the metal bowl from the KitchenAid and we stuck it in the freezer. For, and it's been in there since, <laughs> what, Friday? Yeah, it's been in there since Friday. Um, we've just been kind of holding up and busy and such. So it's going to be super freezing cold and we'll probably want to grab gloves or something to get it out of there because that's going to be really frozen. Um, you, dr you dropped the spoon in the blackberries there. Yes, my hands are going to be nice and red. Yeah, also, here's an idea. Do not try to make this ice cream with a white shirt on or anything white. <laughs> well, you know, I've got stained stuff on my, on my white little sweat jacket, so it's all good. Yeah. So, if you really want to go for that challenge of not getting any red stains from blackberries or berries in general, go for it. By all means, that's up to you. You got that going. I smashed the blackberries earlier so it's a nice puree consistency right now and all that's left is like really just like this like the pulp and the pulp and all that so basically this the pulp skin of the blackberries and the seeds that's in there and the center stem from when you take them off the bush and then that's pretty much it so we just gotta blend that all together so let's get to that because like your Aunt Kathy said, this is like the, the gelatin. Yep, so we got sugar in there as well. So we just did basically the size of that spoon. We just basically put a tablespoon of sugar in with those berries and then that was enough. And we, yep, and we mashed them all. Yep, so if anything, it says to put them into a regular bowl and smash them. What we did is we just did the strainer because it had holes and it was easier to mash versus trying to smash it all into this um, little measuring cup. So I would probably just use a strainer within a bowl so that way you can get that nice puree. And if you want to actually get all of that together, then you can definitely do that. And then this is what we've got left and so yeah. all the seeds and stuff are in there so I'll put that right back into the earth and uh, let some more you know blackberries grow up yep. why not it's organic it is so we had our own blackberry bush this year actually produced like way too much that than what we could Probably consume at least I'm gonna say a pound Oh, easy, easy, yes. easily a pound of blackberries that we harvested off of that shrub, and we still have plenty more. Yeah. I could probably pour it in here. I'm not sure if they want it two separate. It wanted it two separate. So we just had to double check the recipe. So, um, so what we'll do, since it wants everything to be separate. Uh, we're gonna strain that milk mixture into this bowl right here. And then we're gonna let that come to room temperature so it can cool down. And then we're going to go ahead and add the heavy cream to that and the peach puree. So, and then we're gonna put that Mix it all together and put it in the fridge for an hour, and then, um, and then we're gonna take that out of the fridge and then put it into the bowl that we put in the freezer and let that thicken, and then just keep continuously stir it up so it thickens up. And then the blackberry puree is going to be the last thing that we're gonna do because since it wants the peaches and the blackberries to be separate and it's gonna be layered in we're gonna do the blackberries last in the blender. So that way that's all pureed and blended up and 
bada boom, bada bing, and that's your ice cream of lavender peach ice cream. It's gonna be layered, so it'll be nice and kind of swirly, hopefully. Okay, so I finished with steeping that lavender, and I can't smell it because I'm kind of stuffed up, but apparently there is a pretty good aroma of it. So that's what happens when you're working outside and you get all this pollen and everything. So I'm kind of in that ballpark of I can't really smell it. But I'm sure if I smell the peaches, I could probably smell it. <laughs> um, but we're going to let this come to room temperature and let it cool and then we're going to go ahead and add in the heavy cream after that and th as also add the puree, right? Yep. So we got that. So now we are adding the heavy cream into the milk mixture that we just steeped with lavender and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the peach puree so that will be all combined. And so we're gonna do that. And so this part is actually really mainly the ice cream part of it. So just gotta add in the peach puree and then we gotta put that in the fridge for an hour. Then we're gonna take that out and put that into the freezer bowl. And then we're gonna go ahead and take that and layer it in because that is going to be the main Arts that will be layered in just like how you have here strawberry cheesecake ice cream and there's like parts of strawberry layered throughout or swirled in it'll be something similar to that so now we're gonna go ahead and get the peach puree in there So we got that peach puree in there, so just gotta whisk it all together. 